What's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? A busy day. What's for dinner? It's time to play. What's for dinner? A friendly kitchen is all you need. Hello, and welcome to What's For Dinner, the cooking show that promises to bring you dinner in about half an hour. I'm Ken Costick. And I'm Mary Jo Eustace. Hola, amigos. How's it going? Tonight, we're going to make an absolutely wonderful, fantastic dinner. What are you doing? I'm just Is that putting, your wig on I'm a stick? I'm putting your wig back on. Look at on. Ken's wig on a stick. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Tina Turner. Um, we're making a really fabulous meal tonight, aren't we? We certainly are. What are you are. making? I'm making a, my favorite butternut squash soup, and uh, I've peeled the butternut. And I'm also making a pineapple sautéed rice. Oh, Ken, that sounds absolutely delicious. And what are you doing? Plus, you were cleaning in your spare I was time. Ruby and Pearl's picture. You're very busy. Yes. I'm going to be making a delicious poached cod in a vegetable tomato sauce. So if you want, will you stop that? It looks good on you. Put it down. You look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, it just became like deliverance in here. Did you feel it snap like that? If you want to pick up that pen, I'll give you the ingredients for the poached cod and the vegetable and tomato sauce. Put that thing away. I this will. is what you'll need. You require six plum tomatoes, half a cup red wine, one tablespoon tomato paste, one and a half cups of water, quarter cup chopped fresh basil, half a cup chopped green onion, half a cup shaved carrot, one zucchini diced, half a cup chopped fennel, half a cup freshly chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of dry sage, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, two bay leaves, and four cod fillets. Doesn't that sound absolutely delicious? It does. Yes. It does. And I'm going to start my butternut squash soup. On your squash to, to quicken the cooking time, I'm going to cube up the butternut squash with the potato and put it in the microwave. Okay. For a few minutes. Just That's to get a very just to get good point. idea. Yes. Now, when you're buying a squash, you want to go for firmness and you want to avoid dull skin, Ken, <laughs> <laughs> on your squash. Did you just touch my cheek? Are you exfoliating? Yeah, I am. I thought so. <laughs> Tip off. Okay, now I'm going to march to the fridge and get my fish. Okay. Okay. And Are you still there, sir? I'm just taking out all... <laughs> no, I'm just... I'm concentrating. I'm taking out all the seeds. We don't want the seeds in this. And this soup, we're going to puree. And you know, at Thanksgiving, I did... <laughs> a butternut squash soup with maple syrup in so it. So did I. Oh, did I, you? I gave you the recipe. Oh, yeah, did you? I did a butternut squash with maple syrup, but you know what else I added which made it quite delicious? Cinnamon. Banana. Banana. Oh, now so that that yummy. would be a good idea. Banana would be a good idea. Yeah. Now I don't want to see that in your next cookbook if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I smell a lawsuit. <laughs> now, um what was I <laughs> What was I going to say? If you don't have celery, don't freak out because you can always use fennel. Or if you don't have fennel. You could always use celery. There you go. They're interchangeable, so yes. not to worry. Use uh, celery when fennel is unavailable. They have the same texture, but they don't have uh, the same flavor. No. Fennel is, has a very minty taste. Licorice. Yes. Anise. I set uh, your oven for you. Did you thank need you. the oven today? I don't uh, <laughs> think so, but thank you. I'm going to use the microwave. <laughs> I'm always thinking of you. Thank you. I had a dream about you last night. Oh, no, did you? We catered a wedding. No. We did, and we had a great time. It was ours, dear. Oh, get out. <laughs> <laughs> what did I look like in the veil? In the dress, you mean. <laughs> it was not pretty coming down that aisle. You can imagine my horror. <laughs> can you imagine my mother? Shelly Winters in a wedding gown. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. Not good. Oh, boy. I hope my mom's not watching this show. No, she's not watching any of the shows. Is she? No. Okay, i got to get on my dish. When so I'm we doing... did the wedding. Yeah, we, did. we catered a wedding and it was a big hit. Did I do juicy orange beef? 
<laughs> no, you, you poached something. I can't oh. remember what. And you used fennel and some oh. orange juice. And some crushed tomatoes. Yeah, it was delicious. And the, a bay leaf. The guests were raving, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, now listen. <laughs> I'm going to get my pan because i got to get all my marinade. Please. <laughs> okay. You're dressed very nicely today, Mary Jo. You, you got a so? gown on. Is <laughs> no, that a gown? No, that's a long that's skirt. That's a long skirt. I just wanted to look nice today for the show. It's beautiful. Yeah. You're in that kind of Hawaiian mode or... Yeah. You know, Watch out or else I'll do the coconut dance. Oh, no, I don't want that <laughs> coming my way. <laughs> okay. You did some uh, creative, interpretive The interpretive jazz. jazz. Yes. yes. I'll never forget I, that. I, I pulled a muscle. <laughs> I'm scarred for life <laughs> after seeing that. I did it with a duster. It was a good one, didn't you think? Oh, yeah. It was. <laughs> really enthusiastic there okay. about my uh, duster dance. Now, listen, mm -hmm. I'm going to get my green onions and my fennel on, and then I'm going to put my liquid in, bring it to a boil, then I'm going to reduce it and then poach the fish. Great. Yeah. Voice cracked your I like a, a poached fish, as you know, or poached chicken, <laughs> or poached. because it's very low fat, and I like to have, uh, you know, low fat options. Yes. And in my soup today, I'm using cream, but if you wanted to, to make the soup lower in fat, replace the cream with something like a low fat sour cream, soya milk, which you can buy in your health food store, or at your local supermarket, or something like a non-fat yogurt. Now that's a good tip. Yes. That's a tip worth writing down. There we go. Got Buy the sell high. butternut squash. I've used half a butternut squash here. And I'm not even going to peel the potatoes because we're going to puree the soup anyways. And you want a bit of the fiber uh, in your diet. So, so why bother? Why bother? Exactly. So I'm using some carrots today. And carrots are very high in beta carotene. And they're very good for you. You know if you eat too many carrots, yes. you can turn orange. I didn't and that's, know that. that's the truth. If you had, like, if you're eating a lot of carrots. Is it, is it like that uh, tanning lotion that you use, that self tanning stuff? No. I don't use the self tanning. Mm -hmm. Do you? No. A little bit. No. <laughs> a little bit. No. Just under the eyes. No. Are you using just a wee bit? Okay. I'm going to cover this up. And, and you're going to microwave, microwave that. for five minutes. Okay. And it's going to go. Now, another very nice variation that you can do for the butternut squash oh. soup. Um, which, which gives you a slightly different flavor, which is a good idea, Kenny, is you can mm -hmm. bake your butternut squash with some of the cinnamon and nutmeg in your oven. Right. And it gives it a very toasty, sort of almost nutty taste. So oh. if you have the time, what's your, oh, oh you got, I, watch the pacemaker. What are you going to tell me? I got me? excited. Why? Uh, when I made my butternut squash soup, you know what I added? Yeah. Uh, you added bananas. Didn't but we go I, through this before? No, but I'm just remembering. It's all coming back to me. You added fennel. No. Apples. Oh. About four apples. Oh. Yes. Oh, no, that would be nice. delicious. Yeah. Of course, that would be wonderful. That's and I think instead of using soup stock, I used apple juice, some apple juice. Interesting. Yes. So you had a lot of stuff going on with that butternut squash soup. I did. It's amazing it you had time to do your hair and whatnot. It was wonderful for Thanksgiving. It was good? Yes. I made no. a chestnut stuffing. You ever done that? Ch no. Chestnut. That oh, funny. I love chestnuts. Okay, Ken, I'll turn on your burner for you. For your, uh, what are you making there? For your butternut soup. squash soup right there. Oh, gonna... I would have preferred this burner. I know, but you know I like the big burner for my dish. What's wrong, dear? Oh, I'm just wondering maybe I'll take that burner today. How come? <laughs> How come? Uh, you're the burner queen? We, why, uh, why <laughs> do you want that burner? Because it's bigger and it'll work quicker. Because that's one of our tips today. Yes. Try and maximize your pots by using burners that correspond with your pot size. That's right. Yeah. Behind. I've added in my soup stock. And since we're trying, we're going to try and keep this mm -hmm. low fat, we're not going to saute with butter or with oil. We're just going to add in. It's just going to go right in. Yes, and we're going to puree this anyways. So not to, not to worry. Now, not to worry. we are going to be adding some cream, though. It's That's true. Now, Kenny, before we go to the break, yes. I have a trivia question for you. Stay put, sir. Uh-huh. Ken, focus. Please, I've got to get this one. <laughs> you got one the right. The country is depending on this. <laughs> depending on Kenny, a frightening thought. Ken, mm. what is a scrod? Excuse me? <laughs> Dear. A what? What? <laughs> you should see the blank look that just went right across his face. Show our viewers. What is a scrod? Scrod? Yeah. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> when we get... Okay, when we come back from the commercial, I'll answer the question. Oh, what's for I dinner? Think I know. Do you really? Yeah. Hello and welcome.
welcome back to what's for dinner. I've got my vegetables on for my uh, poached cod. Do you want a dish towel, dear? I'm taking this. <laughs> You've got your oven mitts. And yes. um, I'm getting on top of my dish. I'm about to add the rest of my vegetables and get my poaching liquid started. But I would like to repeat the trivia question for my little friend to the right of me. Mm -hmm. Ken Caustic. This is for the this title one. of Miss America. What? Do I get to wear a crown? <laughs> What's a scrod? A scrod. Okay. <laughs> I just happen to know what a scrod is. It's a bluefish that breeds in the north, the cold waters of the North Atlantic that's very kind of strong tasting. You know what? Just because you give a long explanation doesn't mean it's right. You're wrong. A bluefish? Don't think so. A scrod is simply a cod that weighs under two pounds. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> she tricked me again. Okay, I just microwaved my potatoes and the butternut squash. Great. And you can tell the bowl is very hot. Yeah. And in, uh, you know, I think I'll put these on. They don't match my outfit, but I think <laughs> I'll put them on. And I'll just put them in, and then I'm going to read my recipe. Great. I just added my half a cup of red wine and my dried thyme and sage to my recipe. Yes. And, so, uh, oh. Would you like, uh, yes. you're going to read your if recipe. You would, <laughs> if you'd like to grab a pan, I'll tell you what you require for the butternut squash soup. You need two cups of chopped butternut squash, four cups of vegetable stock, one cup of cream, one large potato, one medium onion, half a teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon of dry oregano, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, one bay leaf, and salt and pepper to taste. Now, doesn't that sound great? Sounds I wonderful. I am Ken Caustic. What's going on? <laughs> what is she doing behind me? Shame on you, Mary Jo. Oh, I cracked myself up. Oh, you did. <laughs> Sometimes, and I feel better. You do? <laughs> You're like Tina Turner. You travel with your wig. Yeah. Okay, I gotta get started on my dish. You have to. Yes, well, I've got uh, my red wine and my vegetables in, and I'm gonna put my water in to get uh, my poaching liquid happening, and my tomato paste, and uh, my bay leaf. So, guess what I'm doing? Can't even bay leaf. imagine. At the same time, Kenny? Nutmeg, yes. I'm gonna put everything in the cloves, cinnamon. Basil, oregano. And I'm putting there in my go. tomato paste. And a mix. Mmm, smell that. Oh, yeah. reminds me of Thanksgiving. It does. So there we go. We're going to let that simmer for a while. And while that's simmering, I'm going to start my, uh, my rice. <laughs> Focus, sir. Okay. Focus. Could you pass over the rice? Yes, of Thank course. You. You've got quite a nice display here. You've got your curry paste and your raisins and your pineapples and your green onions. That looks great. Um, really good. I wonder, I think before I do that, I didn't S&P the soup though, did I? S&P. <laughs> S&P. First, to taste. There we go. About half a, te half a teaspoon and about half a teaspoon. There great. we go. Get a pot. Okay. You're totally on top of it, aren't you, sir? I certainly am. All right. Very nice. I'm going to use this burner. Okay. There we go. Sounds good. Oh, good, good, good. You're on top of the burners and there you're using your pots very yes. well. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Very Chopped pineapple. Nice fruit, Ken. I don't know what you want me to say at this point. I'm taking my zucchini and my tomatoes and I'm putting them in my poaching liquid. And what about you? I Two see. Two types of raisins. I see, sir. Now, when you're using raisins, a very good idea when you're uh, cooking with raisins is to let them soak first to bring out the toxins because they can have them. So that is a good little tip with dried fruit to do that. Soak them in a little warm water in front um, to pull out the toxins. What I'm going to do is I've added some olive oil and I'm going to brown the rice first and that's just going to coat it, give it a nutty flavor. <laughs> Which is actually the definition of a pilaf, which we said, if, are, you, are you through with these oven mitts? Because I almost chopped off the thumb. <laughs> are you done with these? Yes, okay. thank you. Now, I have a bit of a tip of the day uh, pertaining to my dish. If you want to save some time, because cod does take a while to cook, it might be good to use scallops or shrimp, something like that, which uh, cooks very quickly. Quickly, yes. Quickly. Mary Jo? Yes, dear. Little Candy Caustic is going to do 
the viewer mail. All right. Dear Mary Jo and Ken. <coughs> See, I made a point there. You did. That I was going to do the viewer I mail. I like the way you just I really over. enjoy watching your program and look forward to your recipes. Do you have a cookbook out? Yes, we do. And she asks if it's coming out. It's out now. Keep cooking these delicious recipes. My family and I really enjoy them. Patricia Green. That's well, very thank you very sweet. much. That's very nice. Where did she ask about the cookbook? Right there. See? Yeah, she did. <laughs> and it's true. It is available. Now, you can see over here how nicely my poaching mixture is done. And we've got, I put in some of, um, I'm going to put in some little fresh parsley and a little fresh basil. And then I'm going to garnish with that near the end. And I'm going to put in my uh, uh, fillets now. I'm going to salt and pepper the fish and then put it in the pan. I've added to my rice dish that I'm browning. I've started to brown the rice and I've added half a cup of chopped pineapple. Now you could use commercial canned pineapple if you want. Just uh, take the, the um, juice out. You know, Kenny, I have a very good tip about rice. Oh, do you? <laughs> good. I'm, I'm very glad about that. Would you like me to take it away? Yes, please do. You know, sometimes you burn your rice, you freak out, you think, what am I going to do? This is a very good tip. Don't stir it if you've burnt your rice. Take the heel of a loaf of bread or stale bread and put it into your pot for a few moments with the lid on. Oh. It'll, take, it'll get rid of the burnt taste and your rice won't stick so much to the bottom. Isn't that a great tip? That is a great tip. Thank you very much. I'm going to add in about half a teaspoon of chili powder along with the curry curry paste. But I'll put the uh, chili powder in now. Okay. That's just going to give it a nice, uh, more Oomph. Uh, Oomph. robust, stronger Oomph. flavor. Mix that around. Delicious. I'm washing my hands because I dealt with fish. Yes. That's my own little tip. Did you S&P this? Yeah, I did S&P. Okay. You're getting okay. into that terminology big time, aren't yes. you? Yes. Did you S&P? I use it all the time now. Okay, now I've got my fish happening, and I'm going to reduce my poaching liquid down to medium. And, In go. Uh, yeah? Yes. Okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? Okay, what? <laughs> what was that? That just reminded me of a movie. What's in Prom Night. Oh. <laughs> Oh dear, were you in that? Don't no, think so. Don't think so. Oh, Kenny, this looks good. So you just put your curry paste into your rice. I have just added my curry paste. There we go. All right, huh? And now, if we wanted to, which I'm going to do, I'm going to put the water for this mm -hmm. uh, in the microwave and then add it to the mixture. To, uh, to quicken up the cooking right. time. I'll you add the raisins at the very, you know, very last, end. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do for you? What? I'm going to chop up a lovely red pepper for color for your rice that well, we can sprinkle you. in. Thank you, Mary end. Jo Eustace. Thank you. Put Hallelujah. your hands together for Mary Jo Eustace. I've got a, oh my goodness, that's a pepper with a personality, isn't it? You've got to have a good personality <laughs> if you look like that. Looks like you when you get up in the morning. No, no. no. How would you know? <laughs> that's, ah! true. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now your rice is burning. Was that part of the deal? No, you it's not burning. You might want to give it a swirl. No, it's might, not burning. You might want to scurry over and give it a swirl. Ken does not burn anything. <laughs> really? Except his wig. Except his hair on the curling iron. Yeah. Okay, I think we are totally together here on what's for dinner. I My uh, fish is poaching absolutely beautifully. Ken's rice smells very aromatic. His soup is bubbling and piping and Going it looks puree. delicious. Yeah, so join us after what's for dinner. We'll throw it together, won't we? We will. Yeah. See you in a minute. What's for dinner is brought to you by Pepsi AC. You can be heartburn free with new Pepsi AC. What's for dinner? Brought to you by Pam. No other cooking spray beats Pam. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just chopping up some parsley here that I'm going to add to my rice. And I'm going to add the raisins now. Oh, it's going to be fruity and wacky. It is. Just like there we go. Two types of raisins. Oh, lovely, Kenny. And some red pepper that you're going to give me? Yeah, I'm rice. going to give it to you, babe. There, there you go. go, for some color. That's wonderful. And since I'm at this end of the stove, yes, are you going to puree? Counter, I'm going to puree my soup. And because I'm a good co host, I have this cream at hand, and I will add it gently as he purees his beautiful soup. Butternut squash soup. 
oh, with Ken. cinnamon and nutmeg. You can smell it. it. Smells absolutely delicious. Now, while Ken is pureeing his, his, his masterpiece, really, what I'm going to do is give you the recipe for this poached cod in a tomato and vegetable poaching liquid. So this is what you need for this delicious dish. You need six plum tomatoes, half a cup of red wine, one tablespoon of tomato paste, one and a half cups of water, one quarter cup chopped fresh basil, half a cup chopped green onion, half a cup shaved carrot, one zucchini <laughs> diced, half a cup of chopped fennel, half a cup freshly chopped parsley, half a teaspoon thyme, half a teaspoon dry sage, half a teaspoon salt, one teaspoon black pepper, two bay leaves, and four cod fillets. Doesn't that sound absolutely that delicious? <laughs> you look lovely. You're so lame. Is this your favorite wig? A little bit. No. You know what this actually is? Don't tell me. I don't, what is it? <laughs> I, this is the Feather hair duster. From, the, from your mustache. The hair that we from saved. my mustache. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's it. it. Look at That's it. it. The truth is coming out about you, Caustic. Nobody's going to stop me now. Anyway, I'm okay. going to present my delicious fish dish. The hair from my mustache. Well. With the hair from your back, sir. <laughs> now, we're just, we love to have a good time here at What's for Dinner, don't we? Okay, I'm Doesn't pouring in my butternut squash soup. Look at that, Mary Jo. Oh, Turned out Kenny. beautifully. And you can smell, the kitchen smells aromatically of cinnamon. And look at my delicious dish right here with the fish. And I'm going to spread this on. But listen, you guys, thanks so much for tuning in to What's for Dinner. We really appreciate it. Keep writing. Keep watching. We'll see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.